Hello and welcome to another review. Today I'll show you the Antec Notebook Cooler Basic. This is a lightweight uh, passive uh, solution designed to help you know, keep your notebook cool and give you a longer life. Uh, it fits up to a 14 inch wide uh, notebook. As I was always said, it's very lightweight, and I mean it is lightweight. So it means it's lightweight, it's going to be good for taking with you when you go away, say on a business trip, or maybe on holiday you want to take your notebook with you, whatever. It is really lightweight, it's slim design, it's got that nice perforated aluminium construction which promotes the uh, passive cooling, and uh, it's got a nice uh, flip on it to help the uh, the ergo ergonomic uh, comfort, basically. So yeah, it's uh, I've already had a box already, and uh, I have repacked it up just to show you. But it's really good. Uh, I've been happy with it, and I'll show you it in the box. So that's basically how it comes. Get yeah, basically a bit of paper there just to tell you that get you out and flip the stand up. So let's take it out of the box. There it is. It's got a nice feel to it, man. I do love the feel of this. Um, obviously, you've got all the holes in the back of the passive cooling and how it all works. Uh, there's your little flip at the back, so you just flip it up. you also got a couple of rubber feet to make sure you don't go sliding around on the surface. And they've also got their name uh, just there. So it's really, really nice. Nice design, nice uh, finish on it. Looks good. So, what does a laptop, uh, sorry, a notebook look on it? Oh, let's have a look. There we go. It's really, really good. Like I said, this is a cooler, but uh, I would just buy this alone just, just for the stand, you know, just to give you that nice little angle, which is a lot more comfy, really is, than having the, the book flat on the surface. Uh, in my own personal view, uh, but these doors really do help keep you your notebook uh, cool. Because I've tested it out by touching the back, and since having it on there, it doesn't feel feel as hot. So it's definitely help keeping it cool. But uh, once it's on, if I turn to the side, uh, the idea it is right is to allow free air around, basically. So when the air is all free around, you know, it helps keep you cool. Where before, if that's just flat on your surface like that, there ain't much air can get underneath. You know, but with this, obviously it lifts it up off the uh, of your surface, which allows air in. And that's where it helps to keep cool. Obviously, as well as the construction of it, yeah, helps distribute the heat. So that's basically what the passive uh, cooling is. It basically helps get the heat from there out into open space, basically. And yeah, it, it does the job well, it really is. I love it, absolutely do love it. Like I said, it's uh, it's exactly what it says on the tin act. You know, they call it the notebook cooler basic because it is just a basic cooler, but it may be basic, but it does the job well, seriously. So yes, I'm very impressed with the design. Um, I've actually showed this to a couple of people who's been around here already. Yeah? And I showed them and said, well, that's a bit basic. And I said, yep, it's exactly what it says on the tin. It's basic, but it does the job. So yeah, if you're looking for a cooler, uh, with uh, not say stand on, but don't fancy one with fans in, then try the Antec Basic Cooler. Uh, the notebook cooler basic, I should say, really is a good, a good one. So I'm going to leave this there. I'm going to give this a GT ratings of a five out of five because yes, it's basic, but it does the job well, and that's what matters at the end of the day. It does the job well as well as the lovely, lovely design. It's got nice touch finish. You know, touch that. It's really nice and smooth. No sharp edges on it whatsoever. I'm impressed, seriously, for a basic cooler, passive cooler as well, that is really good. So yeah, GT ratings are 5 out of 5, and also I'd like to thank uh, 
uh, and tech and the uh, PR team for uh, sending me this to review. So as always, you can follow me on www.geekstech.co.uk, twitter.com forward slash for Geeks Tech, uh, facebook.com forward slash Geeks Tech, youtube.com forward slash Geeks Tech, uh, podcast.geekstech.co.uk, that's where you can subscribe to our podcast now. And if you've got any questions or queries, I do recommend you uh, send me an email at wayne at geekstech.co.uk. Uh, I do try and reply back on uh, YouTube or wherever my videos posted, but if you definitely want a response, more direct response, send me an email. Well, that's it from me, and until the next time, I will see you later.